William Croft Dickinson was a British historian known for his history of Scotland. Born in 1897 in Leicester, he attended Mill Hill School in London. He served in World War I, winning a military cross in 1917. He was known for his historical works, such as the 1928 The Sheriff Court Book of Fife, or John Knox's History of the Reformation in Scotland. He would also write children's fiction, such as his time snip novels, Borabil and the Eildon Tree. In 1930, he married Florence Tomlinson. In 1940, he became Sir William Fraser Professor of Scottish History and Paleography at the University of Edinburgh, and was a trustee of the National Library of Scotland. He died in 1963, shortly after seeing the proofs for today's subject, his one collection of ghost stories, Dark Encounters. Most of these stories are told between antiquarians and university men, and have a framing of an innocuous statement provoking the recounting of a ghastly story. Often these are recurring characters, so one wonders how they are used to this by now. The Keepers of the Wall has a man go and see the only remaining wall's MacDonald domains, which remains standing only because MacDonald of Clanronald had several men of the MacLeods buried beneath his wall that their ghosts may keep it standing forever. The wall being known to, despite only being a single wall, close in people who stay after dark. To hold the wall as well. Return at Dusk is the story of a man who, while doing coding work for Britain during the war, at an old castle, finds that when looking in the mirror in his room at dusk, he sees a strange inhuman shape slowly open the door behind him, coming from a balcony which is utterly unreachable from the outside. The Eve of St. Botolph is the story of a mysterious parcel, uncovering how a dead antiquarian of a century ago discovered that on this particular day, the devil himself will come meet those walking by the road, and have them meet a terrible fiery death if they refuse him. Can these stones speak as a man spend the night in a room whose pillars were taken from the sight of the warning end of a nun, hearing the sounds of the immurement in his bed, and then when the phone rings, hearing the end of a Latin ritual of excommunication? The work of Eve was a keeper of rare manuscripts find a book on diabolism from the collection of John Ferd Earl of Gowrie, a book which, if read, will make the reader miraculously strangled to death that same day. The return of the native as a man returned to the native district of his ancestors, and being nearly killed three times by the soaking wet ghost of an old woman, who his ancestors had drowned centuries ago, as a witch, and who keeps chucking boulders at him. Quieta non movere has two men break into a stone in Ombre, where a priest is said to have entombed a demon dog given to the lord of the domain by a witch. You see the dog was to only guard the castle until the lord's bones were resting in their grave, but they dug up his bones and accused them of treason at court, and so they were never put back. Let the dead bury the dead is the story of a group of graves whose excavation ends with the death of their excavator, the bones being miraculously buried in fresh graves. The House of Blatfot has a man go on a walking tour and find a mysterious tower house, not on any map, and finding there a most disgusting inhabitant he did not expect at all. These stories are not as nasty as M.R. James, and their sameness can make them run together a bit, but individually they are fine.